All right, YouTube, welcome back for another wonderful day here of Taco Stacks. Today is something very, very special. We are going to an estate auction up in Stroudsburg. I'm very, very excited. Uh, it's been a, a couple weeks since I've been to an auction, and uh, flea market season is now under two weeks away, and we got a lot of things planned this upcoming week. So let's make it a fun one. Let's see if we can grab it at the estate auction. I know a lot of people have been asking for more estate sales and more estate auctions, so... Let's make it happen. Let's buy some cool things and fill up the van, hopefully. Not sure what to expect, and uh, should be a fun one. Let's do it. Very interesting auction. They have, like, hundreds upon hundreds of football helmets. I don't know really anything about football helmets. I imagine they have to have, like, a certain certification. Like, look at all this. Start your own football team. Football jerseys. Pads. All the face masks. The most random stuff at an auction. I think these are more helmets. Oh, maybe it was for a, uh, like place that sells helmets and these were like the models. What the heck? Some old ones. Old pads. Wow. Wow. Do have some baseball bats here. Never heard of Brett brand. This is maple. If only I still played baseball. Those would definitely sell too. Footballs. National Silver Company. It's not solid silver. That's interesting. <laughs> Flashbacks to my childhood. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's up, bud? Huh? How you doing? Doing good. How about you? All right, two more weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. Yeah. The one thing he does here is, I don't know if I said it, but you're buying a lot, so like all this gets sold in one shot. What is this? Check out this beauty. I got a beaut. It's a cat carrier. I get firewood out here too. Kind of neat. It's different. Oh, it's got something inside it too. Uh. I don't even know what it is. It's got something inside. It's not a cat. But that's an interesting way to carry a cat. Like, I feel like if somebody has a vintage shop, this would look really good in it. Oh, speaking of a cat, there's a squirrel. Let's see what's inside this thing. It's a newspaper. Velcro cuff. Oh, it's one of those. What is that, blood pressure? blood pressure goes high at these auctions. That tree is going to come down soon. Probably show this more towards the end. 
So I paid five dollars for these linens. I thought I saw a good one in here. So these I'll probably get a couple dollars a piece for. Make my money back with those. But he lifted open the, the lid into that bin, which is a five dollar bin. Nice thing with this auction: no buyer's premium, no sales tax. But I thought this was a nice quilt. Maybe I'm losing. No, this is a nice one. This is hand done. Look at that. For five dollars, the whole thing, whole kit and caboodle. And another bin to add to the collection of bins. Interesting. Okay. We're all here. Anybody interested in the Strausser? We know about them. The art museums have them. The ESU is full of them. Here's your chance to buy it right now. What do you want to bid on the Sterling Strausser Black Cat, 1970? Where's the first thousand dollars and go? What do you want to bid? Where's 500? No, we'll put it back. Do you want me to put it back? He says 200. Where's there's 200? Now two and a half. There's 200, two and a half now. There's 200, two and a half, two and a half, 300, three and a half, 400. There's three and a half. 360. There's three and a half. 360. Will you go? There's three and a half. 360. 360. Anywhere. There's three and a half. 360. Say. There's three and a half. 360. Will you bid? No. 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 370. 380. 390. 400. All right. So I bought the contents inside this garage, whole corner, and all the shelving. So I'll show you guys what I grab. We're going to clean it out now. So I didn't bid on Max. I didn't know what the rules of engagement here were. Did he even skip that? I don't know. So I paid five bucks for all. So we have some planters. We have some old weights. Uh, some wire. These look like stands. Tools. I'll find at least five dollars worth of stuff out of there. It's currently a little over sixty. And then I bought this whole area because. I need a new trash cans. Mine are destroyed. I got three trash cans. And I don't know what the heck's up there. Alright, some of the things we found. Old Riddell hat. One of these guys. I can actually use this. And I got uh, three trash cans, which I needed... Uh, Four, so now I just need one more. Very happy with that. Is that actually good? Yeah. Yeah, it's, everything's good. There you go. I think you should take it. It'll sell. There ain't lying, it will sell. I think that's the fine of the day. <laughs> So driving home now, I'm looking kind of at the grass, like look over there. Not on the right, the right doesn't look too good. There's some spots over here, but the grass looks way greener than it did two days ago or three days ago. I guess spring is not that far away. That doesn't look great. That doesn't look great, but over here, it's kind of green. Amazing. All right, so we made it back. Uh, I think I spent a total of like $20 or so today. This chair has to come out. That's a little sneak peek. There's also a dresser drawer over there. Sneak peek towards the uh, this coming up weekend adventures. All right, so I'm doing a storage unit clean out sometime this week. Those were the pieces of furniture that were in it. I made the deal last week uh, to buy the unit. Uh, so we will see what happens with that unit, what's inside. It'll be a lot of fun. Like I said, hopefully Saturday I'll try to get that video out. I will clean out sometime this week. I don't know when, uh, but like I said, I spent 20 bucks today. The big kind of spends today were I bought the contents of like the shelf or whatever for five bucks. There were some neat things in there. You guys will see I have this really neat planter right there. It's kind of a cool piece. Uh, and then I bought the uh, the area inside the basement or the garage, whatever you like to call it, because they had a bunch of garbage cans. Uh, dragging this back to the van, I managed to break this, so that literally does me no good because I'll show you right now how my trash cans look, and they're not great. 
All right, so uh, this is one, and you can see it's all busted out down to the side, all like that. That one's not in too bad shape. This one, this one has a huge crack at the bottom. One of the handles on this is completely broken. It's also a crack down there. And then lastly, this garbage can will be the first one to go out. This one is all cracked on the bottom. It's completely missing a handle. And then if you flip it over here, this thing's all, all broken up here. So it's very, very flimsy. As you see, it's not like in the best of shape. It's also cracked right down the, the bottom of the trash can. So that trash can will then get thrown out. I'll replace it with one of these. I did go out, I was going to like buy them. Um, those are kind of thinner models. Those cost about $20. These heavier ones cost about $30. So I was like, next time I see them at auction, because I know I will, I'm going to buy them. So I bought the contents of those areas. I was very happy with that. We do have some neat things that I was able to throw in here. I kind of use them as my boxes, because boxes were kind of limited. This is just a cool tin. It's kind of funny. They're in trash cans, but the stuff that's in here is not trash. Cool tin. Those are for your what? Your reflectors. That's what it looked like that were in there. So you got some reflectors. I do have some oil here. The guy I think was a dealer for uh, Riddle. Um, and that's why there were so many football related items. I think I did keep, yeah, that's what that red thing down there is, right down the middle of all this wire. Take this stuff out, you know, extension cables are not cheap. They are not cheap by any means. This whole thing right here, you got some more mysterious items, scrap metal, more wire. This right here is kind of neat for any uh, football fans out there. This is what you guys would see if you wanted to get custom helmets made or a certain color combination. These are the color samples for um, football helmets. Don't often see this kind of stuff. I don't know if this has any value online. The football helmets themselves, like the huge bags and whatnot, uh, I actually looked at the helmets a little bit more in depth and uh, they were out of safety protocol by about eight years. So they're eight years too old for the threshold before they are not considered safe anymore. So uh, what was it like 2014 or most of them were made like 2002 to 2005. And then they had like, they were between like a five to 15 year span on that uh, where you can use them. So I don't know what, like they sold for, there's one bag that had a bunch of clothes in it. That one I bid the guy up to about $30 and then I let him pretty much have the other ones where they were just the helmets for like five to $10 a lot. Um, Ten dollars a lot for all those helmets seems like a great deal, but I don't know what you'd really do with football football helmets that you can't really use for football. It's almost like you're selling them almost as like props, which you can do. Uh, that was kind of my agenda was hopefully somebody would want like a Halloween costume. There were a couple of college football helmets there, which I figured you know they probably weren't actually used by colleges, but you can still throw them on eBay and somebody might want them for like an autograph or something. So that was kind of cool. Like I said, I got these two garbage cans, three garbage cans. Let's see what's in here. So this on the contents of the uh, the shelf. Got myself like five or six of these dog bowls. These are great. Probably get a dollar, two dollars a piece for those. We do have one antler. Around here, it's about two dollars a point. So you got two, four, six, eight. 10. This thing's probably worth about 10 bucks. And other oddities as well. You got a nice little tin, some license plates. This guy's a nice one. As you can see, it's beautiful out right now. A little over 75 degrees, around 75. Some books, some more oil, some more planters. What was that license plate? I thought this was a really, really nice one. Old. You could even use it as a cap hole. You gotta take out the nails. Some more oil for anyone oil fans out there. A couple cassettes. Little oddball items there. So like I said, very, very fun day out here. Um, did grab a bunch of stuff. You guys saw the uh, the quilt 
I actually brought that inside just now to wash it, run the washer while I still have daylight. Get things done around here. Start that whole thing. I did buy this whole, this thing's all jacked up. It's brand new golf clubs, but they're unfortunately from like the 80s or the early 90s. Still in the box. Kind of cool. Speaking of golf clubs, we do have a whole lot of golf balls. And this really cool stool, which I thought was nice. This is also a really nice planter. Someone made this box into a table. A little advertisement on that. And find an instant relative. U.S. Naval Training Center, Great Lakes, Illinois. So that's going to wrap it up here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yet another fun treasure hunt. I spent about $20 to $25 today uh, on this stuff, so it should do all right. The quilt is really nice. If I don't uh, end up using it for repurposing reasons, I'll probably just sell it as a as a quilt on eBay. So very cool. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you guys enjoy the video, smack the like button. Subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. I'll catch you guys next time, next adventure. Who knows what we'll get into. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.